Hey everybody, it's Davis Untitled here, and I'm going to start my new LP, Super Mario 1, for the NES, a classic game. It's kind of easy and kind of short, but I'll explain why I chose this game. It's because uh, my the my actual second LP that I wanted to do when I was talking about in my other video is... Uh, I need a better capture card for that, and I have to wait till Christmas to get one, so... Uh, I'll just be doing that now. And there's like a little hint right there. You get a one up right there. But, uh, yeah, this really, this is kind of like a, a gateway LP. It's not really a, whatchamacallit. It's not really my second LP of choice. I probably would have chosen something over it. But this is perfect to fill the gap because I just don't want this dead time of like three months. Not three. <laughs> There's not three months between now and Christmas, it's about, like, four weeks. And this game is really short, like, it might be, like, an eight-episode-long LP with extremely short episodes. And that's basically why I chose this. And I might, I'm not sure if you guys want me to, it might be kind of bothersome, but... I might want to do a couple of videos to kind of give you clues on what my next, uh, my third LP will be. It feels kind of weird because that should be my second LP. So this isn't. This is my like illegitimate redheaded stepchild LP. <laughs> wow, that's that's a. I never got that too. Well, I guess it's from somewhere, but it's probably really old, and I honestly don't care. But, yeah, this is a classic game. If you haven't played this and you're a gamer, you're probably old, uh, younger or stupid. And, because I'm pretty sure it came with the NES, so there's no excuse that you didn't, like, couldn't get it or anything. It's just a great game. And it's, it's kind of cool, because it's, it's like Mario 3. Well, I'll explain, like, the differences. But, you kind of learn the tricks of the trade, like, where everything is, like... I said like way too much, but you once you play it so many times, you find stuff, and then it's just it's kind of cool. It's just like a learning experience, and yeah, like how there's a one up right here, and you can just do that and get it real quick. It's just fun. But uh, a couple of differences between Super Mario 3 and this. Uh, this is Eight Worlds 2, but. Uh, these worlds only have four levels each, and there's there's no map screen. So it's just basically level after level after level, and you can't... Well, you can skip any by using these things called warp points, and I will show you how to get to one right here. If you jump up on that thing and go all the way down, go the way all the way across, there's like three warps, and you can go to two, three, or four, which is kind of cool. And there's also a, a, a really cool glitch here. I'm not going to do it because it like screws up everything but you can go to negative one world which is basically an endless water level and as we know we all hate water levels so why would anyone want to do that and uh let me see if i get fireworks this time nope but if your time ends in one three or six you'll get uh the number of fireworks that corresponds to that number. So if you get three at the end of your time, you get three fireworks. You get six and so on and so forth. It's pretty... Eh, you just get extra points. In, in this game, extra points don't add up the lies, just like the other Mario game. Which, well, I keep saying whatchamacallit. Like in uh, Super Mario 3, if you get 100 coins, you get an extra life. But if you know uh, a little cheat that I might have to use, I hope I don't. It, which is when you're on the start screen after you die, if you hold a button and press start to restart your game, you can uh, jump right back to the first first level of the last world you died in, which is really cool. And I only had to use that when I was in World 8 when I was doing my practice one. Yes, I actually did a practice run of this, so I'm not going to look like an idiot being like, Ooh, what's that? Ooh, and then get shot by something. But... It, it's the game is pretty easy for me. I only had trouble on a couple of levels, and this is the uh, castles of the thing, like how we had airships in the other game. It's basically these castles, and there's always an indoor castle like this at the end of every world, and they're they're kind of designed the same, which is kind of weird. 
And there's always the same boss fight at the end. Just this guy, Bowser. Even though if there's like... You fight eight Bowsers, it's like one of them fake, because he like falls into a lava and dies. And look! <sighs> she thinks he... It's Toad a he or she, I think it's a he, but... Toad thinks he's funny too. And I think we're gonna end it here. I just want to do one world an episode so I can extend it to like eight episodes because it's gonna be short. So next time on Let's Play Super Mario 1, we're going to run and do stuff. See you guys next time.